Hey, what's going on guys? It's Patrick from Clay here and I wanted to quickly show you how you can map out some web pages using the Clay Chrome extension. So this is of course under the assumption that the automatic scraping didn't do the job you wanted it to. Um, no worries at all. You can do it yourself and very quickly. So what you're going to see really quickly is that I'm going to create a recipe. I'm going to click select data to add from page. And because this is a list of different Y Combinator companies, I'm going to go select a list. I'm going to click the first two things in this list. Clay will auto detect it. And then we're going to start adding attributes. So for example, you can add something like the logo and just make sure to click the image attribute. So it'll pick it up and then something like the name of the company. And so I'm going to really quickly do this with every single one of the attributes and then I'll get back to you. And will you look at that? I've done it. And once you, You'll see here that once I've mapped everything out, you can come down here and it has auto scraped every single item on the list, as well as things like location, YC batch, a couple different tags to describe them. After you do that, all you're going to have to do is name it, and then you can go ahead and save your changes. And in a second, it'll save. And just like that, you have a recipe that maps out every single item on this list, as well as the information that you want it to. And so now we're going to go on to an individual page that doesn't include a list. So as you can see here, Dropbox's company page on YC does not actually have a list. So how do you map this out? So you're going to, what you're going to do first is just click the same button right here. But when you click select data to add from page, you're going to actually click select a single attribute and you're going to start mapping out the attributes from each part of the web page that you want to scrape. So we're going to go to things like the company name um, and things like websites, social accounts, etc. So I'm going to map out some of the things that I want really quickly and then I'm going to get back to you. So I've mapped out the attributes that I want to map out. And as you can see, you can have a lot better information through individual pages. Sometimes I have their LinkedIn profile, their Twitter profile, their Facebook profile, their Crunchbase profile, like and you can get a ton of information from that. Um, so it's super important to look for things like that in the individual pages and see if you have to map those out as well. Something that's incredibly important for these individual pages is you want to make sure that the URL will match this for every company. So you can see here, it's asking you to match the path pattern to Dropbox, but we don't want that. We want that to be for every single company. So what we're going to do instead is add a little colon here and then just put company name, or you can put kind of whatever you want as long as it has this little colon in front of it. And we're going to save changes. And then after we name the recipe and the list really quickly, um, I can show you that it does the same recipe for any website on company's YC directory now. Yeah, so as you can see, we're on a different company page now. But if I just click on the Clay Chrome extension, it'll pop right up and you can map this one out to your Clay table as well. And you might be asking now, what if I want to do this with a bunch of different web pages and I don't have to navigate to each individual web page to get the information? That I would recommend you go straight to our get data integration. It's super helpful for things like this and you can run it at bulk on the actual clay platform. So definitely go check that out. Um, and I hope this little tutorial helped um, and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions and happy prospecting.